is that a thing with sitting in group with a rapist? Um, you know, do they ever tell you honestly? Like, you know, I go back to my cell and I jack off. To oh. You know what I mean? Oh, those and or, okay, do you want me to so settle it? down, Gabe. <laughs> yeah, you, that was a great. <laughs> you guys settle. You ask women questions. I'm going to ask fucking guy questions. <laughs> so they have to do um, sex journals. They're called, and they have to do X amount of sex journals. <laughs> Maybe you should call them something else. <laughs> that just seems open to a Consensual lot. Consensual sex journals. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so they have to do these these journals. They're like it's really um, you know a cognitive behavioral type therapy that's done where you would write your fantasy and then you would kind of work through it to try to come up with a healthier <laughs> outcome. It was like those those books where you're like the, the pick the door or pick your own adventure. <laughs> Choose your own adventure. Yes, and it would have a series of questions that could walk you through various ways to kind of rethink your your and work at consent, like making sure it's consensual and it had all the healthy appro- is there, appropriate boundaries. Is there any way you'd have like a really old one that we could read I sometime? don't have God an old sex She journal. has a stack of sex journals. Well, or send us that we okay. can read it later. No, I don't have no. an old. I don't. I did bring my um, research paper, my grad school research paper. Oh, let's read it. <laughs> <laughs> but say it in a really soft, sultry yeah, exactly. voice if um, you could. The effe- efficacy <laughs> of sexual offender treatment mm. using minimal arousal conditioning. Mm. Mm. Are you interested in. in minimal arousal conditioning? I'm minimally aroused at all times. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. But <laughs> Ask Mrs. The, Noah. It's the use of rotting meat to decrease their deviant arousal. Wow. And so they would, um, in these cases, carry around a jar of rotting meat. Oh. And when they experienced a stimulus that they didn't want to be aroused to, they would take a whiff of the... That's a real thing? A real thing. Wow. Really? Yeah. So if you see someone with Does a jar of rotted addiction? meat... Even, <laughs> I just fucking... Whatever. Fill your nose with coke. Um, so if you see someone with a jar of rotted meat, you'd think they're creepy already but now you know <laughs> the they psychology were, behind it know. it's even worse yeah they're really they get good at doing it very very discreetly because really? they don't want to draw attention to themselves they got meat baggies <laughs> they got oh little jars God. you know in their bags Ugh.